Hey, this movie is a step-by-step -step guide to using Machina in Logic Pro. Whether you want to control sounds or groups in the plugin from tracks in Logic's arrangement section, or mix them in the door, or both. So I've got a multi-channel instance of Machina on a software instrument track here, and the project that's loaded is one from Niche Audio's Sublime Techno Pack, which is a really nice one, available on the Loopmasters website. If you're not familiar with the label, then check them out, as each pack has tons of kits in different underground styles, with drum, synth and FX sounds processed with different insert and send effects, and then sequenced into a load of patterns, and even arranged in the scene section too. All I'm using here though is a single pattern for this demo. And every sound in the group is using just the pad it's mapped to. That is to say, they're all sticking to the same pitch throughout the pattern, apart from one percussion sample here, which you can see in keyboard mode is playing an interesting motif. So to make things a bit simpler, what I'm going to do is duplicate the group by copying and pasting. So we have two identical groups here, patterns and all, and then I'll delete the sound from the first group, and then delete all sounds apart from the drum from the second group. And I'm also going to move it to sound slot 1, which I'll explain later. So now I want to extract these patterns out of Machina and into Logic. The way I do this depends on how I want to work, but I'm going to show you a few ways so you have options. First up, I'll show you one way of controlling the groups on different individual tracks. So I'll create two new software instrument tracks with no devices on, and I'll set the first one up on MIDI channel 1, and the second on channel 2. Now in Machina, the default settings for groups is to have every sound on its own MIDI channel, which we don't want in this case. So if I control click on the group name in the pattern section, then go to group MIDI batch setup, and then choose sounds to MIDI notes instead of MIDI channels, which will mean each drum is then controlled by a single MIDI note on one channel, a bit like when using a software sampler. Then I can drag out my pattern onto the first MIDI track. And for the second group, it's the same process only we need to make sure we have the sound slot selected and are in keyboard mode. Then I can lose the patterns from Machina and maybe name my software instrument tracks Then the only thing left in Logic is to go to the environment window. And this is an advanced feature, so you need to make sure you have the MIDI box checked under the advanced tab in Logic's preferences. Then you can hit command and zero to open the environment and then drag the cables from the two MIDI tracks into the Machina track to route the MIDI data to it. And finally, I need to make sure Machina responds correctly to the data when it's sent from Logic, which I do by clicking on Group A and then going to the channel settings for the group, and then the Input tab, then turning on the MIDI input and setting it to MIDI channel 1. Then for the second group, I just want to do it for the single sound. So again the MIDI input, and then choose Host as the source, and MIDI channel 2. Then when I hit Play, the tracks are controlling the Machina groups. A couple of things to be aware of when doing this. First, always make sure the Machina track is set to all MIDI channels, not just one. And secondly, if you're controlling a sound slot other than the first one in the group, like with this perk sound, then the MIDI notes may end up being pitched incorrectly, if using a sample that is. For example, if I'd stayed on pad 7 rather than switching to pad 1, then the notes would be 6 semitones too high and would need dragging down, or just retuning with the sampler settings or changing the root note. Now if we want to mix in Logic 2, then the Logic Mixer has a cool facility on the Machina track, where you can press the plus button to create auxiliary channels, which are automatically assigned to Machina's outputs. Remember that you need to be using the multi-channel instance of Machina to do this. 
Then in the plugin, I can either go to the output settings in arrangement view, or even better, switch to the mixer, after which you can route sounds or groups using the setting directly under the fader. So instead of routing the clap to the group output, I could send it to external output 2, and the rest of the drums to output 3, and my perk sound to output 4. Then you can hear those sounds arriving on the AUX tracks as you'd expect. And the only thing still coming through on the Machina track, which is the default external output 1, is the reverb send, which I'll now route to output 5. If you do want to both control and mix from Logic though, one thing that you can actually do is use these auxiliary channels to send MIDI to Machina as well, which does away with the software instrument tracks and makes things a lot easier and more organised. The main step here is to create tracks for these AUX channels in the arrangement, which you do by selecting them and then choosing Create Track from the control menu. Then you can click on the tracks and choose MIDI channels for them. So we'll have the clap and other drums both on MIDI channel 1, and perk on channel 2. Then I just drag over my MIDI regions, and I'll delete the clap from the drums track, and everything but the clap from the clap track. And with this method we don't even need to go to the environment window, as all MIDI on the channels will automatically route to Machina without having to be cabled up. Then if I wanted to create a separate channel for the kick drum now, then all I have to do is add another auxiliary, which I'll name kick, then create a track for it, which I'll have at the top, then I just make sure it's sending on the right MIDI channel, which is group A's, so channel 1, then I'll create a MIDI region, and the pads go up from C1 so the kick can be triggered with that note, as it's the first sound slot. So I can lay down my kick now by drawing notes. And then, to route the kick audio to that auxiliary, I just choose the relevant output, so external 6. And the same process can be carried out to control any additional groups or individual sounds you add to the project, just making sure the right MIDI channel is set on the track in Logic, as well as the sound or group in Machina, and then the correct Machina outputs on the mixers set up to route the audio. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, see you next time.